Hello my dear students. This is Prerna. Welcome back to Knowledge of Maths. In today's video, we are going to learn about number line and we are going to solve the sums by using number line given in the textbook of CBSC Board NCERT Mathematics of Grade 6. So, let's start. First of all, let's understand what is number line. This is the number line of whole numbers as it is starting from 0. Okay, as we move towards right, the value of the numbers get increases. And the distance between the two points like 0 and 1 or 1 and 2 etc. remains same and is called as unit distance. We can take this unit as centimeter, millimeter or meter. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we will understand addition on the number line. Here the given example is 3 plus 4 and this is the number line. First of all, you understand that whenever we add the numbers by using number line, we have to point out on the first number given in the question. Here it is 3, so we are going to point out on 3. And as the number to be added is 4, we have to move 4 steps to the right from the number pointed 3. The first move will be on 4. The next move is on 5, the third move is on 6 and the fourth move is on 7. As we reached on the number 7, the answer of 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, so on page number 30 from your textbook, you have the box called try this. In that box, they have given the question as to find 4 plus 5, 2 plus 6, 3 plus 5 and 1 plus 6 using the number line. So, let's find out one by one. Okay. So, the first one is 4 plus 5. So, as we all know, we have to first point out the first number that is here 4. And then we have to move to the right 5 steps because here we have to add 5. So, let's move. The first move will be on 5, the second move is on 6, the third move is on 7, fourth move is on 8 and fifth move is on 9. As we, are, as we have reached on the number 9, therefore the answer of 4 plus 5 is 9. Okay, let's take the next one that is 2 plus 6. As here the first number is 2, we have to point out on 2. And as we have to add 6 in 2, we have to move 6 steps towards right. Then we will reach on the number 8. Therefore, the answer of 2 plus 6 is 8. Okay. So, the next one is 3 plus 5. Let's point out on the first number that is 3. And then we have to move 5 steps towards right. The first step will be on 4, the second step is on 5, the third step is on 6, the fourth step is on 7 and the fifth step is on 8. Therefore, as we have reached on 8, therefore the answer of 3 plus 5 is 8. Okay, let's move to the next, that is 1 plus 6. As here the first number is 1, we will point out on 1. And then we will take 6 steps towards right. So, here the 3rd, the 4th, 5th and this one is the 6th step. So, we reach on the number 7. Therefore, the answer of 1 plus 6 is 7. Okay. Now, let's understand subtraction on the number line. Okay. Whenever we subtract the numbers by using number line, we have to point out the first number given in the question. Here it is 7, so we will point out on 7. As we have to subtract, as the number to be subtracted is 5, we have to move 5 steps to the left, okay, left from the number pointed 7. The first move will be on 6, the second move is on 5, the third move is on 4, the fourth move is on 3 and the fifth move is on 2. As we have reached on the number 2, the answer of 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay, whenever we have to subtract, we have to move towards left and whenever we have to add, we have to move towards right. That's all you have to remember. Okay, 
so on page number 30 you have the box try this and in that box they have given the question as find 8 minus 3 6 minus 2 and 9 minus 6 using the number line okay so let's find out one by one here the first one is 8 minus 3 as we have to point out the first number that is here 8 and then we have to move towards left how many steps three steps because here we have to subtract 3 from 8. So the first move is on 7, the second move is on 6 and the third move is on 5. As we have reached on the number 5, the answer of 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay. The next one is 6 minus 2. Here the first number is 6 so we will point out on 6 and we have to subtract 2 from 6. So we will take 2 moves towards left. Okay, the first move and the second move. We reached on the number 4, therefore the answer of 6 minus 2 is 4. Okay, the next one is 9 minus 6. We will point out on the first number that is 9 and then we will move 6 steps towards left. First step we will, will be on 8 and the second step is on 7. Third step is on 6, fourth step is on 5. 5th step is on 4 and 6th step is on 3. As we have reached on the number 3, the answer of 9 minus 6 is 3. Okay. Now, we will understand multiplication on the number line. Uh, whenever we multiply the numbers by using number line, we have to start from 0. Now, here the question is 4 into 3. Means 4 times 3. So, we have to move 3 units at a time to the right. Hmm. And as it is 4 times 3 makes such 4 moves. So let's start. Here the first move will be on 3. The second move is on 6. Third move is on 9. And the fourth move is on 12. So the answer of 4 into 3 is 12. Okay. Now let's... Uh, Solve the try this box that is on page number 31. The question is find 2 into 6, 3 into 3 and 4 into 2 using the number line. Here the first one that is 2 into 6. Um, as uh, uh, 2 into 6 means 2 times 6. So move 6 units at a time to the right and as it is 2 into 6 make such 2 moves. Okay. So let's start. The first move is on 6 and the second move is on 12. Therefore the answer of 2 into 6 is 12. Now let's take the second one that is 3 into 3. As 3 into 3 means 3 times 3. So move 3 units at a time to the right and as it is 3 times 3 make such 3 moves. So let's start. The first move is on 3, the second move is on 6 and third move is on 9. Therefore the answer of 3 into 3 is 9. Now let's take the third one that is 4 into 2. Okay, as 4 into 2 means 4 times 2. So move 2 units at a time to the right and as it is 4 times 2 make such 4 moves. So first move is on 2, the second move is on 4, third move is on 6 and the fourth move is on 8. Therefore 4 into 2 is equal to 8. We will end up today's video here only and we will continue in the next video. If you like my teaching then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone.